When it rains in Ming Kaman, a town at the heart of South Sudan, floods are a major hindrance to the daily humanitarian activities here. Where over tens of thousands of displaced people are at risk of contracting waterborne diseases. Children are the most vulnerable. It is within these conditions that pregnant mothers give birth on a daily basis. Despite attending antenatal care at the UNICEF-supported maternal health clinic at the camp, 19-year-old Kuei Kang couldn't reach the clinic when labor pains set in. She says everything went fast and her mother-in-law was there in time to assist her deliver her baby. I went to the antenatal clinic yesterday. I was seen by the midwife and she told me that it was my time to give birth, but the water had not broken. Then I came back home and at night the labor started all at once. I asked my husband to call the midwife, but he couldn't find her, so my mother-in-law helped me to give birth around 4 a.m. Although the little boy has brought joy to the young couple, they have lost everything. They spent days hiding on the shores of the River Nile as fighting ravaged their village. Reuben Kang, the husband, is a worried man. Everything went well with the delivery, but the main problem now is that here in this camp I have no job, and a woman who has given birth needs many things like proper food, clothes, many, many things that I cannot provide her because of the current situation. Florence Akili is the midwife who attended Kuwait during her antenatal care visits. This morning she received the news about her delivery and has come to check on the well-being of the baby and the mother. To the mother also, I examine her. There's still bleeding a little bit and there's bruises in the birth canal and some oedema. Then I gave antibiotics. Even before the conflict, South Sudan had one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the world. The general situation from the beginning was very bad. You have seen such mothers who were delivering without assistance. Health services was not there. And a lot has happened. UNICEF is supporting five health partners in the IDP camps in Awarial County. Although the situation of South Sudan keeps unraveling, the upgrading of health clinics and improved access to antenatal and postnatal care will reduce the number of displaced women and children dying in the camps.